There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's been too long since we saw it's you not, last time. It's, it's great not, to be with you. It's not. That's not Spider-Man, it. Spider Man, Spider Man. <laughs> it does oh. noise. Oh, oh well, look at that. Uh, oh. <laughs> do not again. Oh, don't well, do that. Don't do not. Spider Man is Sit ready down. to fight you, Senor. This is multiverse Spider Man stuff. Is Senor Popo? <laughs> it is. It is. I hombre de español. How do you say Spider in Spanish? <laughs> that's close enough. Get down from Aranya. there, Henry. Senor Aranya. Good Lord. <laughs> See, squish. Thwip. Thwip. Very, get very the green goblin. Thwip. I'm gonna get the green goblin tonight. <laughs> You're gonna get the I'm gonna green I'm gonna get the goblin. fucking green goblin in fucking tonight, bro. Yes, you will, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, it looks like you're a little <laughs> older than you are in the comic books. No, no, I'm still 18 years old. Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Long yeah. being in high school. Definitely oh, okay. not What's your favorite about class them? right now in high school? I love grill maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> Have you checked it out, man? Yeah, come down, right. man. Well, when it comes, oh, man. Woo, skateboard never. Me and Zendaya. Yes. Hope everyone is having a great October. Hope everyone is having a spooky month. Yeah, so feels much spooky. fun stuff happening mm -hmm. out there. Can't wait for Halloween Back in the to pocket. come upon us. Yeah. Bought a lot of these. I have a lot of these different suits. All right. Different. Is, did you get a bunch of different Spider-Man suits? No, or? no, no. This is the only one of these I, I got because I just think Fat Spider-Man's my favorite <laughs> image. Fat Spider-Man. So I went to Comic-Con on, uh, sat on Saturday and there was a lot of that variation. You know what was most popular? Fat Wolverine. A lot of <laughs> I Fat believe it. I love it. <laughs> I, I really do it. love it. <laughs> Although Wolverine um, really shouldn't be able to be fat, right? Because his body is able to absorb so much punishment and pain. I feel like he could go buffet crazy and never gain a pound. Yeah, no, no, no. you're right. Yep. No, Same thing with Spider-Man. Weight doesn't really matter to Spider-Man, so you could theoretically be a fat Spider-Man. Theoretically, Wolverine's healing factor does keep him from getting fat. Of course it would. Yeah. It, keeps him in peak, it keeps, keeps him in peak physical condition at all times. Spider-Man, though, I think could get fat. Yeah, look oh, at him. Oh, yes, absolutely. He's right here. Yeah. <laughs> He's fucking right here, dog. I don't even... <laughs> hey, you take go. that. You take wow. that. Where's Mary Jane? Yes, indeed. Go get oh. a joint... All right. Well, that's Ben. I am Ben. That's Hen That's Marcus. And yeah, believe it or not, that's Henry. That's not um, I'm Spider Man. Spider -Man. <laughs> I'm sorry. That didn't. I didn't mean to uh, ruin the Polish Spider Man. But it is Travis Morningstar's mandate. So if you thought things started off spooky, it's only gonna and, get and worse. And I, I do have a, I have an October Halloween sort of advisory that uh, I think I may have gotten COVID from a haunted house. <laughs> In Pomona, California. Oh. I, went to a, I went to a haunted house called Delusion. It was tucked in between a Tyson's chicken factory and a paper shredding company in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and uh, house, the, whole, the whole theme of the haunted house was that you went from room to room exercising ghosts out of the house. But the way that you did yes. it, you're in, a, you're in a group and they hand you what looks like a cool black obelisk. And then when they hand it to you, you feel it in your hands and it is clearly a floppy kind of dildo material. Oh, yeah. And so you're kind of waving Silicon. this dildo around at all the various theater ghosts <laughs> that come out of the walls. But I think passing around that big black dildo gave me COVID. It's so very I, possible. For the past two weeks, I've just been home, as you guys know, <laughs> sort of a gelatinous cube in front of my TV. Yeah. And so now I want to bring to you what I've been watching uh, throughout those two weeks, oh, this, this is sort be, of like a, an dark, endurance right? test. This What's that? Be really dark. I don't no, know. no, this no. Very, very Honestly, dark. this is more of a like. You guys have to humor me a bit because basically, I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna make you watch a whole DVD this for for this. I hour. love it. I, I am very excited about great. this. I want to see what it's like when you get to the bottom of pure condensed. Travis, like if you <laughs> yes. really let a lot of the other rest burn off and you get and it's the also nice like, congeal, you, you Travis. Don't feel, you don't feel like you're doing something, like you're missing out on something or like, I'm not working enough. It's like you were sick. So technically you had, you were doing the right thing by just laying there and consuming God knows what kind of content we'll, well see. Well, let's start with um, let's start with this first TikTok compilation. No Perfect. surprises here, but I, let's I just get these. through this first one. Yeah, you know I like it. You know I like it. I love these. You shouldn't have that needle. It is the mark of the beast. Shine on me, sun. Shine, walk with me, world. It's a like skip, it. but if I was Spider Man, I'm uh, not on ready duty. For this. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Take it down to the gas station. I don't know why. Go to Walmart. A lot. Oh, we got a mop. Get a mop. Whoa, Bingo. get ready for what is she if you have for fucking big? Uh oh. Slacking day? I had to go to Party City today and get me the real mask. Scream! <laughs> it's gonna be a scream. <laughs> oh. <Whoa>. Scream! <laughs> it's gonna be a scream. It's ghost face, though, buddy. It's not I Scream. scream. That, that, you're ghost scream. face. You're not the cast of Scream. No, that's Courtney you're the Cox. Main the real villain. mask. You're not Nebuchadnezzar. Ooh, okay. I'm okay. sorry. Don't leave me. I need you here with me. It would be discrimination to leave that out. Oh, my God. I, dude, I follow <laughs> this guy on YouTube. <laughs> That's all synthol. No, uh, I see this guy. I almost sent this to you, Travis. Dude, <laughs> that guy is all synthol. Oh, she's dead. Oh, no, she's Looking moving. for a big old teddy bear to cuddle with? Here I am. Okay. Uh, One of these days, I swear to God, I'm going to pepper spray a bitch. <laughs> this is for all you haters. See my pinky, see my phone, see my fish, you better run. Got women everywhere putting men in a trance, walking around in them yoga pants. What the? Oh. What? what? Look at you. It's like PJ Orange. Better cool it. Woman gonna smack you upside your head. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh yeah, look at this. The little merman. I love that my boat. I will be his I... prince. What Let me be your prince. How do I get that? My you honestly, you need that. It's about like the Berlin Wall. Is it political? What does it all mean? I kind of like that last one. It's mysterious. I like the it. music. I the like music that one too. Yeah, well, I that's fantastic, it. Travis. I'm so happy that you were able to make these past few weeks productive. Uh, I, I'm oh, happy yeah. that you were able to do some self. Uh, searching some yeah what do you think? what's your big covid lesson uh covid affects us all in different ways wow i will, I will say like that the bible on on some real shit it gave me like very weird like i almost thought i was becoming spider-man because remember that night yeah. when he gets bitten and he's like having an intense pains i yeah, thought maybe yeah. i will come out of this wonder, like, having greater <laughs> powers and sort of understanding of the world i just had Mostly shortness of breath, sharp pains running up and down mm. my arms, mm. my back seized up. Mm. Uh, I started hallucinating. No superpowers. Cool. But then, yeah, the next day yeah, I was just the good. same old me. COVID man. COVID wow, man. so you actually passed through the Chapel Perilous and then you weren't transformed at all. You just went right back to absolutely just fucking ground zero Travis. You didn't eat like a turkey leg and turn back on all veganism. Well, I'm, I told Ben, I, I am thinking about changing my life a little bit. I'm about to buy um, alcohol free bourbon. Wow. Alcohol free oh, bourbon. They de what's it called? They de alkalized bourbon. They the fucking what? bastards finally did it. <laughs> they finally have a non alcohol whiskey. What is it? Bro, do? it could be fun. It'll be like one of those commercials. Uh, what was the company that had the 0, 0.0? I think it's Heineken. And their ad campaign is like, now getting pulled over is funny because the cop <laughs> thinks you're hammered, right? But then you're oh, like, yeah. there's and no yeah, alcohol. Go, oh. And then they all laugh. You can yeah. do that now with whiskey. You can be like super cool. Yeah, dude. Well, yeah. I mean, what does alcohol less bourbon do? This is actually will really tell. You tell whether the esters. Or not, like, you, know, you know, you taste the esters and the sort of the aroma. You, oh yeah, that's it, right. Because you were like, you were one of those guys that was really into the technicalities of alcohol, right? Well, I was like, a you were the Tannins and I was you, a sommelier. Yeah, so yeah. I knew how to. I knew. I knew how to use words like quaffable. Oh, huh? quaffable. yeah. Oh, yeah like this bitch read I met, she was the fucking most quaffable bitch I've ever met in my fucking life. I'm Spider-Man, Spider -Man. do you think that's PG Spider-Man <laughs> for hey, the man. DC Universe? Listen, bro, real Spider-Man's got to deal with real life issues, real life shit, man. Can't get canceled right now, man, bro. I'm Spider-Man. I guess. Uh, or Spider-Man is Marvel, though, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And the no, reason, man, you know, the real I, I don't uh, fucking belong to anybody. I'm stronger than 60 men. Uh, I can Spider -Man, jump. I can climb over building, man. I'm sorry, Spider-Man. You don't technically belong to yourself. And the reason why I want to throw back some fake whiskey is because <laughs> the world is in shambles. Yeah. And this next what? little this next little clip is just sort of evidence of uh, how fucked up this world is. And it's also uh, seasonally appropriate because of, you'll see the name of the uh, person involved. Oh, oh uh, I, so like, I, I like the... Um, 
you thumbnail here already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you love yeah. this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Then find a young girl taken from her home in Long Beach. Two-year-old Cinnamon Pumpkin Miller has been missing since yesterday oh. morning. Police believe she was kidnapped by her mother's oh, boyfriend, oh, Larry yeah. 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 They say yeah. Yeah. is schizophrenic and has yeah. not been yeah. taking his medication. He could be perfect. headed to New Mexico in a late 1982 <laughs> Toyota truck with the New Mexico yeah. license plate <laughs> GXM229. I feel like the who secret is surgically attached to his name. Who provided the picture? Where did they find it? It's who perfect. was the fucking who was the intern that decided like that one, that's the one that's how well, he's that's... likely to be out and about? If you see him, that's what exactly what he's gonna be doing. He's gonna hold that cigarette so tightly, but yet so gently. The amount of restraint you have to have to chew on a tobacco product and not break it. Yeah, no, I he know. looks like a fucking Dick Tracy villain. He That's really amazing. Does. Also, like... what a little asshole. He's five foot six, 135 pounds. Leave these kids alone. Yeah, yeah. He's the firm. idea of naming a fucking child cinnamon <laughs> pumpkin like it's a Glade plug-in, man. <laughs> fucking child. Like, I feel like we oh, should stop. You know what, though? It's kind of cute, though. Cinny. <sighs> Mini. I, I just no. you pick, I know that like we know. love our dancers here. We love our strippers, but it's just it just sends you right down a pipeline because then you have to change your name to like Alice just to be a stripper. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> if you're a sex gal out there and you're working, yeah, you don't want your it doesn't it shouldn't be your like your parents given name to you because Pumpkin. that's part of the fun because it's character work. So yeah. you should be called strawberry, something fun that makes you feel like, oh, this is what I'm in my character work. But yeah, well, cinnamon, she's like... gonna have to go with like literally like susan b anthony coming to the stage like honestly, it's gonna have to be a very proper name can we draw the line and naming kids after flavors yeah i think so i feel like well, a kid should I never be named that, ranch though. i don't think a kid True. should be named um barbecue sauce like don't yeah. say the whole thing i guess barbecue is actually kind of cute barbecue is kind of cute but then nor oh my god it's going to be a whole bunch of drama yeah nor should we be naming kids after like adjectives related to food no tasty no zesty. <laughs> I, I might what? name my first adopted son Zesty Zabrowski. <laughs> Zesty Zabrowski sounds like a major league baseball pitcher who hits the home run in the World Series. Zesty, I think you, uh, as always, uh, I think that we have just contradicted ourselves because now Zesty Kissel. Yeah. Uh, Zesty yeah. Kissel. Zabrowski, Zesty Parks. Zesty's the Z greatest Zesty name of all time. Zesty Park sounds terrible. That sounds awful. It sounds Zesty like a place Kissel. you go do heroin and love it. <laughs> I think it's the only you can only name a child Zesty if you could put the kid in a crib and it can escape. You know Zesty. what I mean? Like if it can just get me like, oh, it's Zesty. Zesty baby. Or if you name a kid like like Snitch. Yeah. This is my kid Snitch. Yeah. That's well, also that's bad, bad, man. Yeah, that's that was you know bad. what happens that to them, bad. man. Yes, indeed. Well, they get fucking snitches, snitches, bro, man. Even if they don't, even if they don't snitch, oftentimes you'll get a stitch. Oh, uh, there we go. Well, speaking I mean, of I still snitching, you can still drink. I'm oh, so yeah. happy we can have drunk Spider-Man on the show. Uh, for this, for this uh, next video, I'm, I'm in a way, I'm sort of snitching on um, the guy who who directed the new Billy Eilish documentary. I don't know if you saw this. I did not. I don't watch anything about like a child all the world's a stage success. or some fucking shit. Well, I'll anything tell you one with thing, a though, child love... more having success than me, I can't watch it. I guess I, I barely watch football or, or the NFL. Uh, Billie Eilish, I'm a big fan of Billie Eilish, and she said people were attacking her because of her boobs, and I say, leave them alone! That's well, what she said, Marcus. The director... Sure, yeah, no, I, I, Great. I know. I like Good. that one song. That one song is fine. It's not about her the brother song, does all the work. <laughs> Isn't it true <laughs> that her brother does all the work? He does a lot of... I mean, he's a produ it's producer, singer, you know, it's it's the same thing, you know, it's the same fucking pop star relationship that we've had forever, or at least since, like, the 80s. Well, it's uh, like saying so, yeah, that Britney Spears' father has done all the work the past 20 years. Other it's only because we're producer. gonna see how I'm excited that she'll be free, but I can't wait for her to do some form of vehicular manslaughter. There's gonna be something <laughs> in Britney's future. Something's gonna one. happen, and I don't know what it is. She gets one. So the yeah. very successful director of the new Billie Eilish documentary, he he had a sort of a, a, a he, obviously you know we all come from somewhere. One of his first uh, documentary projects was actually a TV project uh, that he did on FX, oh, hmm. and it was a show called Black White. Oh my have God. You, do you remember this. this show at all? Does anyone remember this show? I only this remember show? this because, no. Travis, you have shown me this before, and you guys <laughs> are about to have your minds so, fucking JFK. I don't even have to, skull. I don't have to explain it because it it'll, it'll all be explained here. But uh, I bought all the DVDs. Two, it's two DVDs, and they're all, like, very hard to find and protected, so it was even hard to rip the, the actual stuff off the DVD. This guy did not want this to resurface, and you can't find <laughs> it online. So, But I, I feel like it's in, it, you know, it's our duty to, like, yeah. bring back. This is real American culture, I feel like. Where is Someone gonna hire me for my tits. Uh, they wanted to hire you for your tits, but you lost all your weight. 
Actually, the first job that they ever hired you for, they hired you for your tits. And you when remember they, how like you were sad about that, and you're like, you they was, eat beef jerky off silent of my library. chest. And, yeah. Yeah. Silent library. Yeah, you were really upset about that Full for circle. Like, years. Full yeah. circle. So now it's beef <laughs> so <circle>. let's. Uh, <laughs> now, if, if someone would hire you because of your balls, that would be nice. The doctor said too small. This is. Too this small. is. Uh, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch three episodes that I've cut into small snippets. Oh god. Very good. Uh, okay, so great. let's watch episode one of Black Lines. Okay. Bruno and I became a black person. Oh yeah, man. No one knew Different. that I was actually black. When I have That is a good white. That's a For good six white. Six weeks, two families, my family to black family, got together in a house in the valley in LA, yes. and we decided to swap races. Changing color That's a woman to see what it would be like. It was completely <laughs> transformative. We got jobs, went shopping. <laughs> we did it all. The I, don't play stand for. I don't know how to play. I was curious to see how the world would react to me as a black person. Many times I was shocked. I feel racist. I mean, I like it, but it's not something I would wear. Oh, I thought you liked it. You can't act black. I'm kind of waiting for somebody to go, hey, n***. You know, but is that going to happen? But, 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 you know, that word was still, well, was, you know, like dynamite. Wow. I got angry sometimes at being misunderstood. Wow. I don't want to have to choose my words. Oh, you have lost your damn mind. I think that applies. I think that she's correct. I think the whole room is. Right. Wowie, 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 wow. Okay, in one room. Oh, wow. So they're just trying to see how each other treats each other. Yes. That doesn't make any sense. It's a deeply flawed concept. I'm not sure. No, they're, go out. they're just in the same room together. It's not like they're meeting strangers. Well, no, they go out. Oh, she goes out. Watch. Yeah. So the daughter's here. Okay, okay. Everybody introduce Ooh, themselves and tell me your favorite entertainer. My name is Latoya Hicks. My favorite artist is Mary J. Blige. My name is Cherie Busby, and my favorite entertainer is Prince. Okay, blessed. Oh. I'm an avid Michael Jackson fan. My name is Jonathan. My favorite performer is Dave Chappelle. Um, my name is Rose, and my favorite entertainer. I kind of love the cranberries. So the cranberries. Oh, the cranberries. Oh, it's diverse. I mean, that's yeah, exactly. already feeling the incorrect. Whenever we do our poems, we have to stand up. Okay? I don't know how to face this. I'm standing in the mirror faceless. My mom is at my shoulder telling me to escape this. There's so many far before me with war life stories of prison and death. I'll take a deep ass breath. What, what, what is this that torments my oh, existence man. that removes the joy in every single instant? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I like, are you learning nothing, it's man? Lamb. Try to absorb In something. the lion's den. I'm always down for my black people, though sometimes they be acting so evil. It's a poetry so fucking class. It's not a lion's den. These people rock. And they're speaking about being black from their heart of hearts and i'm hoping to god that this <laughs> sounds black okay thank you many words my life the so simple complexities of a human psyche to even relish in my thoughts of romantic okay. sky my skin to his He's tap dancing around <sighs> my touch returned a mutual undulation of want and reciprocal acceptability and performance a ritual so profound, the taste of sex, the body flush with hot oh, and sticky I mean, fantastic, honestly, no, he's a basket it. of unbroken like fruit, it. I'm dripping not bouquet trying. of red ripe woman, the pulp of the soul children. spread lavishly over the human chemistry when discovery and now? pleasure <laughs> were encouraged. Thank you. I don't want to go in there again and do what I did. Just don't. No, yeah, I bet you don't. I bet you don't. <laughs> is oh. the single worst idea. So we will return to that throughout the Fantastic. show. Well, have y'all did y'all ever read Black Like Me? I know I, I remember so. the uh, I never read it. No. It was, just... Yeah, it was it was actually someone did this in like the 60s. Like they they wrote they actually did like the full yes. like, Oh yes. you know, they met, a white man made himself up to look like a black man and like walked around in like Alabama. No, it was an uh, incredible in, like, like treatise. Yeah, on it was like how there's two worlds. Yeah, it, it was pretty. It was pretty amazing. Uh, that was not it. That no, it wasn't. No, that was not it. Yeah, because that was, that you, was not an incredible. I uh, that was like you did that one. Like it was good in 1962. Yeah, there know? wasn't a commercial for Wendy's every three and a half minutes. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, yeah, it's like seriously. Insane. Logan just says, imagine agreeing to be in blackface on television. <laughs> like just like white face, just be like face. Wait, 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 what's concept? the concept? What is it? The whole yeah, time. yeah, that's but I guess it's... people were just that horny. Are they still that desperate to be on? Television? You know, a lot of sh a lot know. of like I found that a lot of other countries were doing the same thing around the time of this show, like 2006, that the aughts era. Like yeah. Fr France had a show called like 
in the the negro skin like it was they really were trying to i don't know broach a subject that they were maybe a little bit uh out of their depth on. you know what they got to do polish body so you got to have a thin person put on a little bit of a fat suit now and then a polish person they can <laughs> I don't know, I, do you want to do it you you make you reverse all the doors if you want to live in a yeah. polish world you reverse all the doors so you know whenever you think it's supposed to be pushing in you're, ah, 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 you know you mean like you make suit. sure that fucking yeah. car doors fall off when you're driving and shit that's what's really really important as a polish person right but uh, yeah no one wants to know what this like no one's no one wants to know what this is like Okay. Well, let's immediately jump into uh, another TikTok compilation to to uh, refresh ourselves. All right. I like this song. Oh, okay. Oh, good hair. She's referred to as unvaccinated. You can refer to me. Oh, yes, of the pure blood. <laughs> the like pure blood thing. Pure oh. chance. <laughs> Oh no. Oh man, that is a woman that will fucking ruin it's Thursday. I got work tomorrow. Yeah. She's got a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yes. Oh my it's my fucking yeah. boy right there, dude. That's a tough ombre right there, friend. That's your Good ombre. To all my friends. Jimmy, Joanne, and much more that I'm friends with on here. Follow, like, comment below. Oh, <laughs> oh those are diapers. Is she gonna crap? I, I, I think that was her her diapers. Yeah. Sad Sam. Terrified. Ah. Uh-huh. Oh, she's just fun. Oh, she's like Total Recall. <laughs> TikToks are just, it's hard for them. How do they get TikTok on their phone? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I don't know about all this pro and great technology. I don't know whether you watch Big Brother or not, but I ain't used the N word and. Probably two years then. After oh, watching hey, Big Brother last yeah, night, I over. think I used it five or six times. What is happening? Well, I love her. Oh, happy birthday. Right foot, two stop. Uh, left foot, two stop. That's got you. Slide to the left. Why did she put it to the fucking. Uh, to the slide? Oh, weird. Okay, oh. What are you guys doing? fucking... What happened to him, man? Oh, that's not good. Why did you put that on there? Why did that feel... Hey, everybody. Uh, may I have your something? attention? I am buying quarters. If you had them due to the shortage. Also, I am buying dirty panties. <laughs> what up, my name is Those arms were hard as iron, working, but soft as a cloud in her tender embrace. It's incredible. Her very much. Oh, I want to hear more from that guy. I can't, I mean, what are the Chinese gleaning from this? Like, what? I mean, everyone's like, the Chinese are watching TikTok. We're going to go all our state secrets. I don't know. That I that think, Chinese um... guy was, uh, he lives in a goiter, like, men's home. So he, like. Oh, he has goiter. Wow. He, he and his goiter friends make TikToks with each oh, other. And they all have nice. that big, big, uh, obviously. The goiter. The goiter, yes. Yeah, the goiter, yeah. The, go- this, nice. the goiter in question. More in question, that. right? Can't you can't get you rid of the goiter or no? Yeah, yeah. Can't you get rid of that or just? I think, is it, like, I think, it's, I think it's just a, sort of a fundamental it's to your just, body at a yeah, certain it's, point. It's in there. You can't really get it out. If they, if you could get it out, they would get it out, but they right. can't get it out. I think it's Honestly, just in there. The bump no, on Holden's doctor. back has gotten to like a point. Yeah. It has oh, like Holden's? a yeah. It has like a point. Can't they lance that? Or just he says he can't. They can. They did it one time and they emptied it, and then they can. We had a wonderful time celebrating Ed's birthday this past Tuesday. It was so Beautiful nice night. to see everybody. Lovely Truly night. magical. Lovely I night. I hugged Holden, yeah. and I felt the lump. Yeah. And you were right; it is metastasized. It is hard as a rock, but it's also like an soft, ice cream cone. 
it it's um it's it's traumatizing and disturbing but uh, not nearly as traumatizing as his fascination with breast milk so you, no. well now he's doubling down on it no he's tripled uh, down he yeah. really really has but now it is weird idea of like you know like i want my gorder to live naturally with me it's like the natural right. hair mm-hmm. movement or something where you're like you're like no this is me why would i ever well, get rid of this why travis irvine ever? from uh, able against top Hat, he did tell me one of his favorite quotes from lloyd kaufman where Lloyd said, well, isn't cancer, isn't cancer kind of growth? <laughs> you get it. It's a double Clever. entendre multiple times over. <laughs> Clever. That's Lloyd Coffin for That's you. Lloyd. I love Lloyd, man. Uncle Lloyd, he's still, and I tell you what, man, that guy's still doing, he's fucking out there. He's making movies. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> does it, well, because uh, Shakespeare Shitstorm was going to, I think is his last directing movie. But yeah. He's gonna, he might try to do another one. But Shakespeare Marcus, Six, which Shitstorm one were you in? I was in Shakespeare Shitstorm. Yeah. I still haven't seen it. I need to, I don't know why. I keep forgetting that I was in a trauma movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. You remember right behind Me and my wife both. Oh, Carolina was also in a trauma movie. She was in. Uh, and hold it. Re- yeah, she was in Return to Newcomb High Part 2. I didn't know that Carolina was in uh, Part 2. Yeah. yeah, she was in it. All right. Well, this. I, tell you uh, what, I remember you had a full nude woman behind you in that other in the trauma one. I did. I, I did. She full was a uh, live woman. She was difficult. You this know, uh, <laughs> this next video might as well be a trauma film. Uh, this is a little documentary uh, called Animal Passion. Oh well, that is good. Oh. I wish... In another world, I would think this is immediately going to be harmless and sweet, but I just know it's not going to be. If I didn't already run out of union hours, I'd be trying to help more people. But... Oh, is Spider-Man on the union clock now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Technically, I'm on, four uh, I'm on leave. Files. They are united by their love of animals, a love which okay. is both emotional and physical. Okay. Zophilia is love of animals. I love my animal dearly. Okay. Um, sex is an option. Um, oh, I don't I'm have to have it so all the time. It's, it's something I enjoy very much. It's something I would miss if it were gone. But it's it's not it's not a necessity. It's not just about sex. Don't give them the vaccine. Mark, who owns the trailer, <laughs> lives with Pixel. First shot, all the he is partially blind. Pixel. Spider-Man can't fix Look it. Look here. Yeah. Oh, oh they're ponies. So the two got broad. married in an unofficial ceremony well five years ago. Care of so. What Mark well and said. his friends do is illegal in two thirds of America. Yeah, They've chosen to live here in the third. Because I mean, it's, it's not it's against the law in this state. We were told that he had sex with his horse and with his donkey. What they did is their own business. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. I just, I the first time I even had an inkling of business, though. Why do you think we have a horse? Because he's in place of his origin story. The idea of an animal as a sex object, uh, 16 years old. A good friend of mine and I had been riding a little pony cart around his near his grandparents' farm. Why? Why? And at the end of the ride, to take proper care of the equipment and the pony, he handed me a a brush and a comb and told me to wipe the horse down, comb her, brush her. And I got around toward the back end of that little pony, and she had her tail up in the air. And... Something just went ka-ching in my mind. Yeah? Oh, really? Girl pussy, pony pussy, pussy. And uh, I looked around real quick. Yeah. What a funny story, Mike Horky. And touched it. (laughs) Travis, what is wrong with you? Here I was. I've been trying to do all the right stuff. Ask girls out to the right movies, and of course, well, they were busy. Maybe try to get him to go out and eat or a burger and shake or something like that. Well, they're busy, they but, to. you know, ask me again sometime. And sometime never came. So. No, I wonder why. When I actually went out and had intercourse with that pony mare, I didn't feel that I was being being weird. I felt that I was being superior. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, personality God. flaw and so forth. But, yeah, I, I thought I was being superior. Yeah, I outsmarted the system. Oh, I got, God, I got I even just, with all system. of the girls. Who needs them? We're Superman. This worked great. Yeah, this this was so good that it, that that uh, sex with a woman would probably kill me. <laughs> Mark is dying from hepatitis C. He yeah. needs oh, kidney God. dialysis three oh, times a week. He caught the disease from an infected tattoo needle. 
a friend of mine, Barbara Jernigan. Eating spaghetti? She's quite an artist. Who's eating fucking spaghetti? Was it designed the tattoo for me. That's the tattoo he's dying from. The <laughs> ideal relationship with Pixel. <laughs> I was going to get him one way or another. I'd like to be able to communicate in more detail with her. Oh, it's just, oh, it's with imagining her with a human head as a yeah. centaur. and a huge tattoo. Um, so he does. He wants more. He's more of a centaur guy, but he's willing to deal with the back half. So there's a there's a lot of uh, um, that, that was a much longer documentary that I whittled down. But they yeah. they go they go to a um a woman who quit her like middle class job and like had a whole family to live in the same state. I forget where he lives. Uh, like but to have a relationship with her, like Rottweiler, essentially. Just and feel... and somebody approaches her and says, "Hey, like, don't you think that these domesticated animals are just sort of eager to please you? They don't necessarily. They're not giving you consent." And she says, "You should see the way my dog looks when he wants sex. He may as well be wearing. He may as well be wearing a negligee." I feel that we need a do-over. What are we trying to fix? Like, weren't you guys I mean, telling me there were some solar flares that are supposed to come <laughs> we were our talking way or about something? This. We're in the middle of heavy solar flare Can activity we right now. Get, like, what do I? Should I put something on my head to attract them? What, how do there, I, get them I do love it. People said it. Why did I choose tonight to view my first stream? Someone said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Um, I mean, you guys. Yeah, you that's what's the that. saddest of all. They are going to give the horse Hep C. Um, people, you know, when it comes down to, we're all learning, we're all growing. I'm just we so are. happy the chat is not thrilled because if they were it would be problematic yeah and yeah, the solar I, flare is not going to fix anything if the solar flare came and all of these people's distractions were taken away it, it get would get so much worse it get worse so they might even, at least they might even start having sex with humans maybe oh, maybe because i feel like once you've been Beat in that the world system. Beat he the beat system. the system, the in, system. His, in his mind the system is the genetic makeup of human biology that's what he beat because he doesn't need a woman's be, approval he, to have he, sex. He, he yes. hacked it. He didn't he need it. He hacked, he hacked the matrix. It. It's for something him, we'll never a, understand. Actually, he's a very dangerous person because yeah. he sees women as vaginas. He sees women as, only as sex objects. Because yes. that's what he say. He beat the system because a woman. Well, with any luck, you'll see him like a horse. Is a vagina is how he looks at it. So he's that's how he beats the system. He's that technically guy is deeply, he's safer. Deeply ill. Yeah, he's safer with the horses. Yeah. No, he's much safer with the horses. Yeah. You don't have to I'm actually There's some glad problems that he gets it out with the horse. Spider Man can't fix this shit, man. No. I feel like Spider Man can every single time. fix that, though. You just no, you man. Grab it every single and you time. Bring him away from the horse. Yeah. Spider Man sees something like that. Spider Man hits a spider bottle. Well, so it's that, 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 that was you know, filtered through that costume. Oh, that the was asbestos? The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a third of America, probably the Midwest or the South, that, that you know, allowed Don't that. Don't say the Midwest. That I was... will say the Midwest. Ask somebody from Kansas. But. <laughs> This, uh, let's go back to the coasts and see what, you know, again, what a civilized uh, city <laughs> would, would <laughs> let's return to Los Angeles right. and, see, <laughs> and see what's going on here. <laughs> Please don't believe the hype. Everything in the world oh my God. Right. I want to see what the white family does. Just because I look you got to have more fun. To do right. They're, they're kind of lame, honestly. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on. You do do me something right with it. Take flight. Speed. 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 That's what I would do. You he just says he likes you fixing see computers better come as a white guy. Like, that's really, like, oh. the extent of it. Now, this is like like the pulse of Lamert Park. You're in the pulse. Well, there's the drummers. That's the drummer's circle. Oh, if they had an extra drum, I would love to. With that element of excitement, I started entering this park. Sure. Oh, yeah, sure, 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 yeah. Yeah. You can see this as a white person. Oh, we're in a central yeah. yeah, you could just do this as a white person. It's not exotic. Not. No. You know what? I'm so sorry. I have to change my mind for now. I almost bought some lotion and then realized it wasn't the right kind of lotion, and I changed my mind. That didn't fly too well, and I started feeling what? uneasy. What is happening? Who, are, who is this woman? I don't know. She's getting scared. There was a very tribal oh, atmosphere, what? a lot of drumming uh, and gathering of small groups of African Americans. <laughs> You're, You're just in the park. You're just at the fucking park. Hey, get out. Drummers come in, you know, you can maybe see this is what this couple needed. We were standing by the fountain, and yeah, some maybe people they started did. reacting to Bruno, and Deanna had her immediate interpretation they're reacting because a black man is here with a white woman, and they don't like that. I think like it's because the black These face. are the African-Americans. I think it's so the, the obvious black face. When they saw us walking, the only thing they saw was
was a black man coming up in the community with a white woman. It was a tough group of people. They were angry about something. I got more and more conscious of the fact that this isn't my neighborhood. Is the negative vibe because of the, is it because I'm white? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh my oh my fucking God. I'm going to fucking, me, my skin is going to fall off. Of men that were gathered in a circle and having a very charged conversation. And it's there were looks really at me. You got it, Barry. Everyone is just sitting space. down in the park. They're just sitting there. Get out of here. It started accelerating. <laughs> I feel racist. So she's going to be bold and go with you by herself? You are just <laughs> walking through the park and trying to sell you shit. There were angry people, angry people and there were angry people, you know, just a massive just scene. bitter self-pitying people uh, that, you know, definitely didn't like us being there. I felt hostility. That's all I know. That is fucking true. That is not true. Maggie Man says that. This guy with no more, the gang more offensive thing over his head was like looking at me like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to f*** you up if you don't get out of here. Okay. You're crazy. She's oh, hurting. What is fucking Spider-Man, she is hurting. And the fact that you did not acknowledge that that woman was hurting means that you're not a very good superhero. Yeah, that's the true Dustin Black. Yes, they did pick the three whitest humans that ever lived to try to go do this thing. I don't know. They're a regular really... family from Santa Monica. Okay? They're regular I mean, family. They did it. They did it. I mean, they definitely chose correctly. But the thing, I mean, it's like they, you said, Ben. But you know they had auditions, Marcus. They, yes. See, oh, yeah. But that's the thing. They chose correctly. They chose the whitest family they could possibly find. That's the <laughs> yes. point. That's the whole point. They're looking for reality TV gold, man. They're not I looking tried to, for uh, actual fucking I tried to look to these. Made. I tried to look these people up on their social media accounts because this is from 2006 or something. Okay. And um, it turns right out they're not even a real family so they're Dude. all they were all la based people it's all that actors. they because i was wondering worse than being cast because well, i was centipede. i was wondering like how do they get a whole family to agree to this and it wasn't it was three desperate actors who agreed to debase <sighs> themselves on tv so oh, it makes a lot God. more sense underestimate the unbelievable willingness of an underappreciated actor to do whatever to it takes and to get on camera it. Anything. Anything. Anything it takes. Anything. Especially they will because... give themselves cancer to be part of a special for 2020. I do believe that they are slightly poisoned by the atmosphere that, that happens in the city, right? Like you get out to all the auditions and you I'm start to feel the desperation. It is intense when you're in the mix of the rat race part of it. And but well, then like, also, aren't you being encouraged the whole time? They're like, you're doing great. You're sorta, nailing it. And you're no, like, most of the time, it, most of the time you're being told how fucking awful you are and how you're not going to make it. So that's the other thing, too. It's not like you're being encouraged. All of the predators are <sighs> actively telling you to stop, especially if you're not booking. <laughs> They're saying stop. Like, you could go and, like, take an acting class, but, you know, all the acting class would be like, well, you know, the main thing you have to understand is being an actor is far harder than you could possibly imagine, <laughs> which is why I have mastered it. I hacked the system by fucking horses. <laughs> What's really important here in Los Angeles is that you can just fuck the oh. horses. You oh don't have to book God. that job. You I'm know what so I mean? Because the horse is right there. Because one time I saw a pony's pussy and watched that tail go up. And I touched it. If it wasn't verbatim what that man said, I would say great character. <laughs> you, know, you didn't really adapt him. Uh, what if that man becomes president? Now that's a good SNL sketch, right? Okay. So let's do a little um, uh, palate cleanser and go to Iraq. And uh, so I don't know if you honestly Iraq. I would rather be there than uh, that's. Have any of you sharing. seen uh, the uh, the movie The Devil's Double? I think it's called. No. It was like from the mid two thousands. Really good movie. I think I don't think a lot of people saw it, but it was about uh, Uday Hussein, who's the son of Saddam, and how he. Oh, I did see this. He's basically like a psychopath, right? Well, well, I don't just, tell I, me we're going to watch a bunch of torture. No, of no. Uday, so saying, no saying this, is a, this is a very torture, short palate cleanser. This is just Uday being Uday, apparently. Oh, so let's just watch oh, wow. this. Oh, he's just being a funny guy? Yeah. did not believe it was sanitary to have his dogs retrieve the birds he'd shot. So he would force friends like this man, a man Janabi knows, to go fetch in the icy water. And when the friends started to complain, as you can see and hear, Uday had a way of convincing him to do what he wanted. This is fucking Christ. <laughs> Whoa. But no hard He's feelings. Just having fun with it. No there's a um, feelings. there's like a there's a couple different videos on YouTube. If you si if you yeah. search for Uday Hussein um, birthday party. He uh, oh, yes. he has a birthday party where it's all women and he has an assault rifle and he's just at the table shooting off rounds and laughing 
maniacally <laughs> during his birthday party. It's really horrible. They used to yeah. do in people's weddings were their worst day of their year of their life because of him. He is he very right scary. Right there. Yeah, Uday's very, very scary. We're supposed to Uday cover. And Kuse, was it Uday and Kuse? I think. We'll, Uday and Kuse, yeah. yeah. We'll get up Ugh. in there one day. We're going to cover that story because those guys were all fucking. Yeah, none of them were, were nasty, fucking dude. chill, dog. You That's know, weird. none of them were a good replacement for Ryan Seacrest New Year's Eve. Man. <laughs> <laughs> because when it comes down to it, I feel like people are not ready for that kind of hard switch for somebody you know what, that though? will fucking shoot his buddies when they're looking for ducks. Can we get Ryan Seacrest this New Year's to? shoot an AR-15 up into the air. It could be kind of fun. That'd be nice. You know, I do like the idea of a celebration with bullets flying. I mean, it's all really yeah. probably totally needless, but... Yeah, right in the middle like of Times Square. Yeah, yeah, right in the middle of Times Square. Yeah, right? just yeah. have him shit fire into the just fucking buildings all around him. We See how many advertisements he can get. Knott's Berry <laughs> Farms, they have a gun store inside of the, uh, the amusement park. Right. So when you go in there, oh yeah, and they have a place where it's like they were like, no real oh. guns, right? Because you go by, you can buy all these big realistic looking fucking like get you shot by the cop style cap guns, right? Like big oh. like like real so blank real guns. guns. But you can get a fucking nine inch the fucking knife. And that was like that's even more dangerous than a gun. A lot of times that's what they say, well, like knife fights are much more dangerous than fucking gunfights because people don't really know how to shoot and how to get you when you get close, stick, 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 stick. Fucking I actually flash I a bunch completely of disagree with that. There's literally a saying, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. If you are at a gunfight. But if you bring yeah. a knife to a knife fight, it's actually very scary. A knife fight is scary. Yeah. But wouldn't being a gun, bringing a gun to a knife fight with theoretically, without a doubt, in the rock, scissor, paper world of arms, would, without a doubt, that's ah. a superior weapon. But what if you're able to throw the knife? You can throw the knife. That's a, that's a, oh, who Skill can? <laughs> you, who can throw a knife? Some Honestly. men can throw knives. Some women can throw knives. Some people can throw knives. Our friend Amber Nelson from Brighter Side, she had a video of her throwing an ax very sternly on Instagram, so I oh, know. Oh, yeah. You can fucking you can fucking throw a knife no matter what your fucking skill set, dude, is. That's why I prefer to yeah, bring a grenade to a It has fight. to stick into the other person, Mr. Zabrowski. Also, you've been fantasizing a lot about grenades lately. You have been talking about grenades and in orbit and mount. I want been, like, one. Have you been watching a lot of war movies or? No, I just want one. You just I like just the idea of, of being able to kill a whole bunch of people all at once with, you know, a you can't really pull it out with apple. your teeth. Literally, it'll rip no, your, it'll pop your, it'll rip your no. jaw right out. You do so. it with your hand, man. No, you I want to. The idea, I feel like that's when I'll really feel true to validation is if I have like one or two grenades or one rocket launcher. Mm. Yeah. Or I want think... a rocket launcher. I think that would be fucking sweet as hell. I still just want my I want a big six shooter magnum and I don't yeah. even need bullets. I just want to sit and spin. Sit and spin. Yeah. Oh my god, that's yeah. a Ben Kissel fantasy. No, <laughs> I mean, sit and spin. Let's I move on to this next TikTok oh, compilation. Here go. Oh here god, go. here we go. These are the good ones. These, Dude, these right, always really. these always make me feel like I went to the wrong house. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe in this case, that's we fun. Did. That's Halloweeny, man. That's great. It's good. My, my, whoa! Stop hurting. Get away from me. <laughs> That's fucking spider. sweet. Yeah. The fuck do I look like a goddamn myself. woman? Go fuck yourself. Fuck you. Fuck you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Restaurant. Chicken tandoori. Damn, that's just what I want. It smells so good. It wets my appetite. I might even sneak a tasty bite. No, I'll restrain myself this and just fantasize about the chicken tandoori that I will buy. It's, she's I'm weirdly doing attractive. These TikToks no, on know, my this, car. This, this. I never will be a TikTok star. At least I'm having fun doing DoorDash and TikTok. <sighs> I'm on the clock. Better get back to dashing and get my. Is it just the Spidey back. lenses? Because I do find her attractive. Yeah, she's what? Yeah, she's wonderful. Oh, she'll be coming around about me when she Whoa, comes. Look at that. That's fun. She that's what my grandpa would do. That's a, That's what TikTok is for. That's what it. <laughs> What's oh. content, man? This is, people can do this, man. They're free to do it. How they is are. the wall so dirty? I've been in that house. Yeah, I know that house. Oh. It's a long song. Okay. This guy again. 
I am it's Big Water, the Big Jaguar, said the song. Guardian of the Hedgehogs. But I'd rather that's me. Because <laughs> that's what'll keep me alive. Oh man, I guess Something he'll eat pussy, man. man. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of horny grandpas on TikTok, man. That's what I'm learning. Got nothing to say. Why are they so horny still? I guess I'm gonna be this horny this long, but no. Uh, yes. You're gonna put the car back on your fucking drive when I I need to go to work. You fucking selfish assholes. I didn't do that. Oh, Where's Am? Am? This is for Amber. This guy's for Amber. Oh, look at the thing. <laughs> Honestly, get it, get Amber his number. This is actually there. just <laughs> those are That's not, those I are like, the best ones yet. That's just very a, nice. That was that's kind wholesome. hearted. That's just very kind hearted. hearted. Letting ladies know he can think, he can smile. And actually, while we're in a good mood, I want to move on to uh, this. Actually, reminded me of uh, this is a young Marcus Parks oh. at a Bowie concert, and I just thought it was a fascinating oh. look mm. into um, what that what must have been like. That's nice. I hope this is he's something. <laughs> he's from his, his own his own universe. What universe is that? Bowie universe. Are you into the Bowie universe? He's the center. I was drawn to it. How were you drawn to it? I'm from Phoenix and I just came. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm fucking there, dog. I'm into it. I'm into it. Hell yeah, no. Dude, I just, just came. came. Oh, good for him, man. Honestly, that guy was in the perfect headspace for a David Bowie concert. What a what an amazing time that would have been. Oh, I, people, I think people used oh. to get high different, man. Yeah. I feel like now the well, weed's almost too good. Well, it's because people weren't constantly monitored all the time, so you could just sit there and assume you'll be left alone and tell these people, of course. But, I yeah. mean, but that was kind of nice, though. At the same time, they were okay. asking about Bowie because, you know, I mentioned a lot of people showing up, and he came from Phoenix. Yeah, yeah I'm, I imagine you have a lot of people to talk to about Bowie and Phoenix. Right? Yeah. I feel like now, well, I don't know. Phoenix has got, got cool people in it. It's just a weird-ass state. Oh, I yeah, love Phoenix. I yeah, love I went Phoenix. to uh, this record store called The Record Room in Phoenix. It was fucking fantastic. It, yeah, made, my, it yeah. made my best record stores in America list. Ain't no weirder states than the ones we live in. That's what I say. All right. Mm. Oh, well, good. <laughs> well, fucking good. More like this is weird. this is the most lighthearted uh, video. I, I don't know why I thought this was so funny. Maybe it was COVID. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it is kind of funny. Are also, all, yes, that's this is, why I feel this way. Yeah, this is Travis. We're in COVID. We're yeah. in the this is, this is, this of Travis's this is COVID. completely not harm. This is not mean or sick or anything. Okay. This is just a fun video. So we can right. vicariously have COVID through you. Yeah. So this let's watch great. this. <laughs> Big cops. Really funny. Really funny. Uh, what do you mean I'm funny? It's, it's funny, you know. You're, it's a good story. It's funny. You're a funny guy. <laughs> what do you mean? You mean the way I talk? What? It's just, oh. you know, you, it's, you're just funny. It's, you know, the way you tell the story and everything. Funny how? I mean, what's funny about it? Tommy, you know, you got over him. Oh, Anthony. He's a big boy. He knows what he said. What'd you say? You're right. Funny how? <laughs> what? Just, you know, you're, you're funny. <laughs> you mean, so? well, let me understand this, because I don't you know. Maybe it's me. I'm a little fucked up, maybe. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown. I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? With a hundred and three degree fever, dude, this is amazing. Yeah, I can Tell see. I know. No, no, I don't know. You said it. How do I know? You said I'm funny. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Tell me. Tell me what's funny. <laughs> Get the fuck so out of here. So stupid. Tommy, this is so funny. Yes, this is awesome. Not a such. Yes, stuttering prick. Yeah. <laughs> Henry, was he shaking? <laughs> I wonder about you sometimes, Henry. You may fold under questioning. <laughs> it is funny. Uh, it was funny. An, it was an Irish. 
an Irish pasta sauce commercial that they did. Oh. I, I had to, I fell down a dolmio. That's dolmio pasta sauce from Ireland. Oh. <laughs> they have a whole that series. Was, uh, of, were you just searching pasta yeah, sauce? Yeah, man, you know. Uh, yeah. You oh. know how it goes. Let's move into this TikTok comp because we're running out of time. All right, sweet. Fuck yeah, dog. I'm so tired of being alone. Oh, I know I ain't the best looking, but damn. Nothing. There's you see it. Girls, who's out there? Come on. Come on. I'm glad this guy. Come on, y'all. Sex without a head is like a sandwich without bread. You're skipping the best part. Oh, hell, that's you right there. This is the Godzilla 2000 soundtrack. Yeah, you know why they call me Freaky Rabbit? Because I'm freaky in bed with a woman. I am freaky in bed with a woman. And I got one. Hey! Honestly, that's impressive little booty shaking right there. Yeah. That's, yeah, honestly, this is, this is talent. I just yeah. the other guy, I don't understand the, I don't fully get the correspondence. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I love the background music. <laughs> Oh, it's Joe. Joe's doing good. Oh, what is it? Oh, what is the band in the middle? I don't know. I thought it was Psycho Gorman for a second, but it's not. These are so weird. <laughs> you yeah, gotta get the head, buddy. No one, it's all very I like curious. this guy. He's just trying to just show the date. He's just someone. trying to be with you. Oh, that jealous shit is what? Oh, oh she's, uh, hey, she's trying to self defense. This woman's a fucking problem. This, is, uh, this woman will not fill your shift if you ask her last minute. Oh, <laughs> look at him there. What a magical man. Oh, God. He just looks all like right. one of those. Did you dream this man? <laughs> like kind of guy that guy fucking freaks me out i don't know what it is about him because you know what it is it's the standing still it's cool but did he have more than one day's worth of portraits it was just one day he decided i think I'm it was do just this. one day yeah i think it must have been for some, probably a dating work site, smarter not harder yeah. i think he took care of yeah. all those photos in one in one go yeah that's all you need man october 1st 2021 that is the day we are getting laid well let's let's uh watch the thrilling conclusion to the um black and white project racism solved Great. Oh, this is gonna be great. I'm excited to see how this plays out. Okay, guys. Uh, Fucking snappy music. This. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, is something that I I made actually. Um, okay. Oh, months oh, and months no. ago. It's called oh. Midlife Rap. After watching rap videos actors, Ooh, for a long time and getting kind of frustrated, I thought, you know, the middle-aged guy, <laughs> the middle-aged person. <laughs> Should have an opportunity to speak his or her mind as well, and it's sort of a sort of a commentary on the today's rap scene. Nick, you might in particular like this, but ladies and gentlemen, this is called midlife rap. I'm a midlife rapper, and I rap from A to Z. I'm middle-aged and dapper with a vocabulary. No, I don't wear giant golden chains, baggy pants half down my butt. I don't disrespect the ladies. I don't call them hoes and sluts. Slut, 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 slut. I know what's expect, really. He's doing the head move like a black guy, and he's really slamming rappers. You know, just really ragging on them. I tell tales that are squeaky clean. I stay out of police station. 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 I mean, it was just really (laughs) obnoxious. It was just, like, ridiculous. I work hard to feed my children well. Teach them lessons about life. You've slapped your so-called... So bad. Not stabbed them once or twice. You just hear the words. It can come out a little bit harsh and controversial. I don't blame anyone for my plight. I don't blame the man who done me wrong. I don't wave my hands all around. Up and down. I don't mumble incoherently. I, I don't wear a big old nasty 
if I'm Brown sorry, Brown man. Brown we just tried to. I'm Spider Man, yeah, man. Yeah. I tried to do that to try to equalize things for white people, man. Oh, God. And he loves it. Whoa. This man's a psycho. Sure, what do you think of that? Does that offend you? It sucks. Really. I think like he won't, won't he die. did that thinking we were going to get angry. I don't know if it was meant to get under my skin type things or not, but oh, it didn't offend what? me at all. I, I didn't even care about it. That's his creative expression. It feels a little bit like making a separation between two <laughs> different cultures that might not exist. What do you mean cultures? Like with a midlife man <laughs> in white America versus the black rapper, which seemed to He's be the main. He's a fucking psychopath. Personally, He's a Personally he said, I, I didn't don't say black. Like that I didn't say black. Rap. What do you mean cultures? I'm gonna say it wrong, but well, I like it like Elena. What do you mean cultures? And now it's like time it's, for a new commercial from Chevy. Honestly, um, what, man, that I, was just on television. <laughs> it was just on television. Let's, they let let's all do this. Of this let's play do this one real quick, just to get people angry at me, and then we'll go to the next TikTok one. Okay. Let's oh, go. God. Have a second countdown. undeveloped head with a separate oh. living brain. Whoa. So tomorrow That's in San Domingo, oh UCLA surgeon Whoa. Jorge Lazaroff, who helped to separate That's those conjoined looking. Guatemalan twins will lead a team to remove the second head. Doctors say Whoa. the baby has a very good chance. It's two heads. I'd go for two brains. This is only the eighth documented case of a double-headed child and the only one born alive. Whoa, that's Whoa. cool as fuck. It's still a little lit. I wonder if they can separate. All right, next one. Like... Next TikTok comp. Let's go. Whoa, okay. Whoa that oh, wasn't yeah. even that Come bad. On, Honestly, that was, that was fascinating. Oh, I'm happy. They're alive. That was fascinating. I can't believe it. Honestly, the kid lived. Having two heads, uh, that's got to be crazy, man. I don't know if they, I don't know if it made it past. Good morning. Good morning. Where the fuck you at? You're not taking a shit. Where the fuck you at? You're not taking a shit. Where the fuck you at? This is not bad. This is TikTok. This is what TikTok is supposed to be. If your man dead, he came with us to one. Oh, my God. What's the guy from up? Oh, my God. What's the guy from up? <laughs> well, my young friend, this is what you got to look forward to. <laughs> oh my god, take the snake, Roberts. What's happening today? There's Ooh. things disappearing that I'm looking for. Malignant was good, guys. I like Malignant, but it, it, it was definitely not having the start the again <laughs> with just my children in my eyes. Buddy. He's trying to connect, Kissel. He's trying. This is only a table gun. Just leave when he knows in the word it will go. I'll be your teacher and show you the ropes. I'm somebody that loves, somebody that cuddles, and somebody that rubs. I can be your king. So, you know, it's an advertisement. Oh, sure. uh, oh, no. Older women are she's beautiful lovers. No, oh, no. Oh, Just a while ago, no, my dear, oh, oh, some kids oh, came God. in there who I think they're being rude because they just came in there wanting to have a cup of water and not buy anything. And just as said, you're going to have to have a charge for that. And when I was unlocking my bike, I heard one of them say, F you too, dude. And because I was unlocking my bike at the time, I didn't know if they were saying that to me. And then one of them started doing all the screaming as I started the right way. And I felt that I should have turned around and, and said, you know what, kids? I'm one who's working at being a rapper who likes to dis root people back on a disc back track. To you rude kids, I like to do the chorus of one of my rap songs. That's just oh, for God. you. Oh, no. Oh, when you God. Like this, me, but give me flack. Like this, me, but give me flack. This back track. Like this, me, but give me flack. This back track. So you get it right back. Actually, yeah. You guys are organized. Noise, noise, noise. Oh, <laughs> they're just having fun. It's sweet. No, this is sweet. This, yeah, this is sweet. This is nice. Light on the porch, hang out with the fam, yeah. and do a little dance for your TikTok. That's All right, cute. Well, we, we have we have we have one going out video, so uh, I figure we should just start it now, and you guys could say goodbye. This All is right, Travis. Travis thank good you so work. Much, I'm glad you got it thank out you, of your Travis. system. I'm glad I'm you're not for doing years. this to your girlfriend anymore. Um, I've seen this clip before. I love this. 
this yes. idea. This because this was the Jerry Springer opera. Yes. Oh, so we'll go out. We'll go out on this. Awesome. Thank you all so much for watching this week's stream. We all learn next week because we ain't traveling till early oh. November. Thanks yeah. to everyone who's come out and seen the live shows, and um, it's just been so Wait. awesome. We haven't talked since Hollywood Forever, so thanks to everyone who came out to the Hollywood Forever Wait. Cemetery show in Phoenix and Salt Lake City, and y'all were just so, Wait. just beautiful, and I want to congratulate uh, specifically on the writers, uh, Mark Lane and Henry, for the uh, comic book Soul Plumber. Yeah, Thank I know the comic books. has been so incredible. Um, I'm the future of comic books, you fucking assholes. <laughs> I believe if that you are Spider-Man, you are the future of comic books. We are the future of comic books. We're gonna Spider-Man, fuck it up fucking it up and fucking it up more. We're gonna fuck it up. I'm gonna be, yeah. I'm gonna be Spider-Man. Get a movie, right. man. Keep on supporting all the shows here on Last Podcast Network. And thanks for the great uh, um, response to our recent big announcement. Can't wait to see you all on all the platforms. See you on Stitcher, baby, and all, all the other bullshits you fucking guys. Tell yourselves, everyone. Thank you for watching. <laughs>